everybody, it's Len from Len's Crafts, and sorry about the shaky video, you know I'm holding the camera this time. I have been tagged by Jane Velocity Vet 8 to do this, um, mm -hmm, cra I think it's Crafters Confidential, is that what it is? Um, tag to answer these questions. So, the first question is, what's your most expensive crafty tool that you use regularly? And for me, um, that's probably going to be my clay oven. Not something I guess everybody would have, but <laughs> that's my most expensive that I use the most regularly. Um, the least expensive. And I've just got... ATC card sitting out here because that's what I'm working on today. My least expensive? <laughs> My paper scissors. And why I chose these? Because I've had these scissors for getting on close to, well I know I've had them at least 25 years. I've had them since before my son was born. So they just came from Sam's years ago and they were 96 cents. <laughs> I think you can still get those same scissors for about the same price. So, that's my least expensive. Um, the oldest item that you've made that you still have or someone else still has. I've talked about this before. Um, my mom put me in an art class at, a, at the local rec center when I was like six. And she put me in an art class, like I said. She just didn't realize it was an oil painting class. So, in her kitchen, still to this day, is a little still life of fruit that I oil painted in that class and I'm not trying to sound like I'm bragging because I couldn't paint it today I still look at it and think I cannot believe a six-year-old painted that <laughs> anyway next the um, crafting tool that was the biggest waste of money I won't really say I have one of those because I'm pretty I do a lot of research before I buy anything but something that costs the most that I probably use the least what I'm gonna say the same answer that I've heard a lot of people say my cricket and unfortunately for me it's because it sits somewhere where it doesn't have access to an outlet um, my husband moved a piece of furniture and accidentally covered up the outlet so I wouldn't call it a waste of money it just is not usable <laughs> the way it is right now. Crafting tool that was the best bargain? Oh, wow. I have so many things that I've picked up at yard sales and stuff like that. That's a tough one. Let me glance around and see if I can really come up with anything. Crafting tool. Wow, that was the biggest bargain. Uh, maybe my heat gun. Because I used a Back in the day, 50% off coupon. I think I got it for $12.99. And I'm still using it. And it's pink. But I love it. Let's see. Best storage idea? Hmm. I don't really... I don't really have... Uh, most of my storage is Sterilite containers and... Um, this set of shelving that I've carried around for more than 20 years. <laughs> um, the worst storage idea. Um, in the third drawer right behind me, which is blocked by my trash can, <laughs> is my stamp drawer. So that's probably my worst storage idea. Why I put my stamps where I absolutely can't get to them without moving a bunch of stuff, have no clue need to change it desperately your most viewed video my most viewed video is the um, vintage beauty mini album that I did here a while back ago um, the least viewed was right after I got started on um, YouTube one of my first swaps um, biggest crafting mistake or mishap? <sighs> wow. I still haven't showed them, but I used to do, before I started jewelry, I used to sculpt fairies and mermaids, mostly mermaids. The first or second fairy that I did, 
the oven I was using at the time died while I was half through sculpting her. So the two halves of her looked totally different. She was just a whole... I went ahead and finished her. But it's not something I would share, I don't think. Because <laughs> she's bad. So that's that item you stock up every time you um shop well i don't ever get to go shopping but um what i would pick up every time of course would be clay um your favorite non-crafty store that you buy craft supplies at um i'd have to say my little local dollar store dollar general and mostly because i'll go in there and pick up this is the newest one i just got i'll go in there and pick up eyeshadows oh sorry and this one, I'm never going to be able to get a picture of that. They're not only shimmery, but they're glittery. So, and I'll use those on clay. And it was 90 cents. I mean, how, how can you turn that down? Um, craft you wish you could do, but can't. Um, I won't say it's something I can't. It's something I find very difficult. And it's um, wire wrapping. Really, really a challenge for me. But I really wish I could do it better. <laughs> What's next in your craft tool wish list? I wouldn't really call it a tool as much as a supply. And you know it's embossing powder. Because I'm waiting for something to come in the mail right now. <laughs> what made you start your YouTube channel? I have been the kind of person that all my life have needed a creative outlet to be able to share my insanity. When I first started on YouTube, my biggest reaction was I couldn't believe there were people out there that spoke the same language I did. Nobody in my family understood crafting, the need to craft, even though my mother is an oil painter. She does not have that drive to create like I do. I, I can't stop it. It's like madness. <laughs> I was the kind that would stay up till 3 o'clock in the morning crafting on the coffee table when my son was a little bitty. You know, when you finally get your mom time out of the way and you can do something. Yeah, that's what I'd do. I'd stay up all night crafting. So, <sighs> Sorry about that. You know, the battery had to crash. Just when you think, I'll do a short video. i got plenty of battery. No not happening so back to what made me start my youtube channel um besides needing a crafty outlet i had started watching um uh, other crafters videos like everybody else i had no idea people did crafty videos and saw some off to the side when i was watching something else and thought i am going to check that out and once i started watching them i was absolutely hooked but i've always hated the sound of my own voice for a uh, for a girl, i got an awful deep voice sometimes. And it drives me insane. So, at first I did the, you know, um, slideshow videos. Until I finally got brave enough to just forget what I think about it and do it anyway. So, there you go. There's my answers. Um, I wouldn't even know who to tag. Um, because I don't know who else has been tagged. So... Thanks again, Jane, for tagging me. Anybody else that wants to participate, go for it. Um, I like these questions. They weren't too personal. They were all crafty related, and I liked that. So, uh, I don't normally do tags, but I thought this was a good one. So, thanks again, Jane, and I shall holler at y'all later. Bye now.